Which nice big arm sort of goes to start off. And go ahead and change direction. Then we're going to go little circles out and show the height. And backwards. Okay, so from there, we're just going to Reach down, grab your toes or your ankles, and just want you to push your butt down and then thrust the back up in the air. Feel the stretch in the hamstrings. And we'll do that for five. Alright, when you feel a little bit wider, we're just going to go into a nice deep squat. And we're going to do ten of those. Okay, we're going to go into the three walkouts, so just demo one for you guys out here. I want you guys to add in the little hip flexor stretch, add it on both sides, walk it back up. Give me a couple more of those. I'm going to walk you through the format as you guys are doing that. So today, we're not really going to take an extended break at all in the class, so um, a lot of it is just going to be exercise followed by rest period, followed by the exercise followed by rest period. We're not going to come to the chat and talk or anything. So it's basically going to be a minute on, 30 seconds off. So it's endurance based. So you're working for longer, but also your rest ratio is longer. So there's like seven or eight exercises we're going to work through. We'll go through each exercise twice. As I said, it's going to be 60 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So the first exercise is going to be burpees, so all the way down, chest to floor, get a push up in. Um, if you're not doing those, just do the walkouts that you did, minus the leg stretch to start off with. Um, and again, we're going to do that for a minute, all right? So let's start off in three, two, one, go win the burpees. I'll take my glasses off, please. Again, guys, you are working for a minute, but you're only doing the particular exercise twice. And you've got plenty of rest, so make sure you're able with yourself during that minute. Great on, ladies, we're more than halfway through. Ten seconds, a couple more. Okay, thirty seconds rest. I'll go around the burpees for another minute. That heart rate should be on its way up. We've got ten seconds. <clears throat> and three. Let's go again on the burpees. All the way down. All the way up. You guys should set yourself a target here of around, I would say, 15 at the minimum. After we do this, we're going to 30 seconds rest and we're going to go straight into the next exercise.
Almost there. That's fine. Try to recover. Guys, go ahead and grab your dumbbells. You're going to need them for the next exercise. It's going to be thrusters. So if any of you don't know, just hold the dumbbells here. Squat and press. Okay? If you don't have dumbbells, just grab something that you have around the house. Just hold it by your chest and keep it there. Squat down, stand the back up. Let's go. As many as you can in one minute. You guys got it. Keep it going. Keep it moving. Halfway through. Ten more seconds. And rest. Next round of thrusters. One more round of these. <clears throat> Almost there, guys. Ten seconds. Let's go. Those dumbbells back up, keep them at shoulder height. Again, if you're not using dumbbells, feel free to just grab anything around the house that's a little bit heavy, hold it here. And you can just either squat, or if it's heavy enough that you can handle pushing it overhead, go ahead and do that. We're over halfway. Keep it moving. Into the last 10 seconds here. Push through. Three, two, one. Bubbles waist down. Next exercise, you have a squat jump. So you're all familiar with those. Nice and easy. Squat and jump. If you're not doing the jump, I want you to start in a calf raise. So from the side, it's a squat and to a raise. All right. Again, two rounds here. We keep it moving today. As I said, it's endurance. We're working for a long period, but we're getting plenty of rest in. Let's go. Squat jumps. Make sure you land nice and soft. Bend those knees as you're landing. Absorb the impact. Don't just land and then squat. You should be landing nice and soft. Going into that next set of squats. We're over halfway. If you need to drop to the squat calf raise, it's totally fine. If not, we've got 15 seconds. The squat jumps. Almost there. And relax. 30 seconds. We're back into the squat jumps. You should have plenty of time to like grab a sip of water if you need it. So make sure you're doing that in between if you need to. Don't spill it like I just did. 10 seconds. Don't 
Let's go. Squat jumps. Take a little on this one. If you do get super tired and your form starts to go again, squat, calf raise, squat, calf raise. Make sure you're doing it all the way up on those toes of the forefoot. Get those calves working. Keep that soft landing. Absorbing the impact of the knees and straight into your next rep. We get less than 30 seconds. That's 15. You know, he's got this. Push through. And relax. We got 30 seconds. Next one, I will run through in just a second. Make sure we're on the right. Yeah, there we go. So, next one, we have squat jacks. So, we're not jumping. We're just keeping the feet close here. Squat and and out. All right. Three, two, one, go. So and and out. Squat jacks. And you can go as quickly as you want here. So you can go nice and fast. But just make sure that you're getting down low. Slow down if you're getting tired, focus on your technique. Each time you do it, you should be getting into a full squat and bouncing back up. Here we go, guys, you got about 20 seconds. Almost our last 10. Rest. One more round of those. Again, that heart rate should be pretty high. If we we're going to look at heart rate chart, you should be going up when you're doing your exercise by down doing the rest. Little peaks and valleys. So, that's what we're shooting for here. I'll help you with your endurance. We're going to five. Squat jacks again. Let's go. If you need to, just walk it in, walk it out, and out. Make sure you're coming in nice and quick with your feet movement. Don't labor it to where you're like, you know, resting, coming out, quick feet, back out, and back out. We have 15 seconds left, guys. Almost there. And relax, recover. So, grab your water, drink some. The next one we'll do is pop jacks. So, basically, what that looks like you're going to be in the high plank position. You're going to kick your feet up to here, bring it to a squat, take the feet back, up, and back. So, each thing you do, you're coming into that high squat position. So, I'm going to start in seven seconds, but if you need a modification, just step your feet up, come up into your squat, and then feet back, and back up. Let's go on those. So again, high plank position, jumping those feet forwards to the hands, land it, and bring it up. You can land and then stand it into your squat, and then pop it back. You can do that, but again, if you need to alternate, or if you need that modification, if you can, quite get underneath. Hold the plank, step, step, hold, and then step back out. 
you should be able to do these um, with the steps that are now in the squat. You guys have 20 seconds left. Next time you do it, hands are up off the ground. Bring yourself into that squat. Last five. And rest. 30 seconds. Those are tough. Again, just make sure that you're going where you're comfortable. If you can't do the feet, both feet at the same time, that's totally fine. And let's go back on the pop jacks. Halfway, keep moving to get your feet to ultimate and go back to the stepping it back, stepping it forward into the squat. It's totally fine. Just do that. Make sure your form stays good. Drop that butt down. Back stays nice and straight. We have 15 seconds left. Here we go, guys. Three, two, one. All right, next one, you have two options. If you have dumbbells, grab them. So what you're gonna do is a renegade row. So you stand with your feet nice and wide. You're gonna row each side, keeping the hips nice and straight. Or you're just gonna do a plank shoulder tap if you're not comfortable there. So up, shoulder tap, and go from there. All right, in three, two, one. Go. So for me, I'm just going to use the plank shoulder tap. My dumbbells aren't very stable, so when I do the renegade roll, they kind of roll a little bit. So give you guys that option. If you do the plank shoulder taps, that's fine. We're still pretty much working the same muscles. You guys got this, 20 seconds left. Make sure you're keeping those hips flat. Your glutes are staying squeezed in. Abs are braced. Last five. All right, relax. We got one more of those. Fifteen seconds. One more round of the plank shoulder taps or renegade rows. Let's go in five. Go. So we're up. No movement at the torso and the chest. Keep everything nice and tight. Brace. If you need to, just hold the plank. Lock those arms out, squeeze those glutes in, abs are staying braced. We're halfway through, stay up, don't let yourself drop. I know a minute is long here, that's okay, you got this. That's 15. Try and keep those arms moving. Almost there. Nice. 
and relax. All right, we're moving into the last couple of exercises here. So the next one, simple but effective, a regular forearm plank. So we're doing two rounds of this. Number five. Let's go on your forearms. Squeeze those glutes, squeeze those abs, pull the belly button towards the spine. Keep the tension. And then just breathe. I'm not going to be doing much talking through this one. Halfway. Remember to breathe. Almost there, guys. Keep it going. Ten seconds. Cover one more plank, and then we have one final exercise to finish us off. All right, we're going in three, two. One, back into that plank. Always remember to breathe. Halfway through. If anyone ever wants a way to slow down time, just get in a plank. It always does it. Fifteen seconds. Keep it going. Stay up. And relax. You guys got this. Okay. Last exercise, two times. We're back to the very first one. We're doing burpees again. Finish us off. Everyone's favorite. <laughs> 10 seconds. So really max effort here, guys. Get as many as you can in. Let's go. Again, if you don't want to do the burpees, or if you can't do the burpees, just go ahead, get yourself into that walkout, hold that plank, walk it back up, do those as fast as you can, that will still get your heart rate up. They're halfway. That's 15, try and get three more. Relax. Just one more, one more minute of work. Then we're gonna stretch. You guys are gonna have a great weekend. All right, guys, getting ready to go in five. Let's 
go. Going thirty seconds. That's five. All right, we're killing it down. Let's go ahead, drop down one knee, drive the head forward, squeeze that back glute. I got my heart rate up. Don't worry about the timer. Just gonna keep going off. Change legs. knee back into the on all fours quadruped into the cat cow cat cow sorry let's get mixed up doing these bridging the upper back up towards the sky dropping the hips down to the stretch and the low back and the abs From there, just rock it back into your child's pose. And then walk it down onto your stomach. Keep the hips down flat. Right, show lower body. Bridge up. Last couple here on your back, pull the knee into the chest, stretch out the hip flexors. And then bring it over to the other side. Opposite side now, bring that little knee into the chest. And rock it across. All right, guys, we are done. Come to the chat, let me know how you're doing, say goodbye, all that fun stuff. Let me know how you thought the workout was, if it was super difficult, if it wasn't too bad. Oh, Helena joined. You already hate this format. Of course you do. You're lucky I wasn't over here giving you a crap back. Good. I'm glad everyone enjoyed it. Um, make sure you guys are um, drinking plenty of water. It's warm outside, so make sure you get the hydration in, especially since everyone's saying they were super sweaty. Um, 
Sarah, glad you like the format change up. Awesome. All right. Cassie, did you get through everything or did you have to leave early? I don't know if you're still here or not, but. Thanks, Margie. It was good to see you or hear from you again. Um, hopefully you can make classes soon again. I know that your schedule changed, but hopefully you can get back with us soon. I'm just finishing up the attendance. Happy Father's Day. Yeah, happy Father's Day to me, Rafi, right? I've got my dog. He's uh, Hopefully he gets me a gift, but I doubt it. Happy Father's Day to Paolo. All right, see you guys. Helena, if you're still here, which I doubt, have a good uh, trip. Bye.